The head of state joined other leaders including Chief Justice David Maraga and Kisi Governor James Ongwae in celebrating the International Youth Day. The celebration coming at a time the government has engaged top gear in the war against graft. President Uhuru Kenyatta took the opportunity to challenge the youth to work diligently to create wealth while steering clear of corruption and impunity. <laughs> ni tuhakikishe ya kwamba vijana wetu wameweza kupata kazi ambayo itawasaidia sio kupigana kwa mikutano ya siasa na kuvunjwa miguu na mikono vices he said had stood in the way of efficiency and service delivery he urged the youth to play their role by ensuring corrupt individuals are apprehended vijana nyinyi muwe mstari wa mbele mukiona hata kama ni baba yako wewe sitaki yeye useme sisi hatutaki mambo ya ufisadi katika dunia yetu hata kama ni polisi na muone mushike mpeleke polisi hata kama ni MCA mushike mpeleke kwa polisi hata kama ni MP mnaona anatumia pesa ya CDF baya na mnaona anatumia shinga peleka kwa polisi au ni nataka ni jamani the power is in your hands to end this vice in our country. And you must take it up. You see your open. The celebration was attended by up to 5,000 youth drawn from across the country, a category that accounts for a good measure of the workforce. 30% of government tenders is apportioned to youth, women, and people living with disabilities, a role that is often flouted by corrupt agencies. Uhuru warned government agencies which continue to flout the directive, stating that action will be taken against them. He also revealed that the government was in the process of consolidating all special funds under one basket, named Biashara Fund, to ensure easy accessibility. Achola Simon for Channel One Weekend from Kisi County.